par three. Okay, I've got uh, two changes or two updates to kind of give you before we get rocking and uh, incorporating the rest of the content into that little setup we've got so far. If you take a look down here, what I've done is I've gone ahead and rearranged some of the links and I did add services in here. And uh, obviously I'll touch on this in a minute. I will go back over everything I did. All right, on top of that, if you come and take a look at the uh, source files, I went ahead and added a uh, progress files in here, just allowing you to kind of get access from the uh, part two finished. That way, you know, if by chance you didn't like what you created, you can start part two and kind of move in and so on and so on. Part three finished, part four finished, etc. All right, so let's go ahead and hop back in here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and dump this, some of this stuff out of the way. So where we left off was we've got this open stuff in here, okay, and essentially what we were doing was we we're kind of playing around with these links down here. I was showing you how to use the uh, point tool and uh, basically pointing this at the file in here. Let me get this set up. For some reason, that's not wanting me to uh, drop it. In fact, what is going on here? <laughs> All right, I couldn't get it to stick for some reason. Okay, so basically what we were doing was, you know, we were kind of selecting these items and obviously, you know, dragging it here just to kind of show you, well, that's kind of what I want to touch on. And before we get to that, we do need to finish out laying out some of this content because I really want to show you how to use that tool because it is a good tool. And I need to explain a couple things that, uh, you know, I thought about after I finished the last part that I didn't explain that uh, you should know. Okay, so um, really what we need to do, okay. Looking at this, what we have set up here, obviously we've got all these tables implemented already. This right here, this open table is essentially going to be the menu bar that we throw in here in a couple minutes. Down here, what we need to do is go ahead and set up some of the background images that we're going to use inside of here. And if you notice that this background is not black anymore, okay, all I did was I just went into the code and I set it up as a different background color, which is 1A, 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 all right? And what that's going to do is that's actually going to match the background of the PNG that we're going to be loading in here. So what we can do right now is let's go ahead and grab this background code down here. All right. So let's go ahead and grab this all the way over to the cell space or spell cell padding. All right. I'm just going to right click on here and copy this. All right. And uh, also I'm going to go ahead and drop down my images, the BG images. All right. What I'd like to do is I'd like to import or add two more tables in here inside of here, all right? One to hold the main content and the other to hold the little uh, product displays that you saw in the uh, sample, okay? So uh, what I need to do first is go ahead and set up this uh, horizontally and vertically. So horizontally, again, I'm just going to center this, all right? And vertically, I'm going to go ahead and move this to the top, just like that, all right? Now I'm going to get my uh, insert panel in here, and we're going to go ahead and drop in two more rows of tables, all right? So I'm back in the comments section here. If I hit table, all right, I want to drop two rows in here, but I want to punch this out to maybe 995, okay? So I'm just going to hit 995, hit okay. And what that's going to do, of course, is that's going to allow us to set up, you know, some more content in here, all right? And what we need to take a peek at right now are the image sizes that we have for our PNGs that we're going to be putting in here. So the content images folder, this index table BG is 275 pixels in height, and this uh, bottom one is 70 pixels in height. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and set the size of these tables in height up to do that. Now this top table up here is going to hold the uh, bigger image. Okay, so what we need to do is come down here to the height, and go ahead and plug in 275. And then we can grab this lower table right here and go ahead and plug in 70. And of course, if I open up the uh, split design here, I'm still inside of that table that I just had, all right, the big table. What I need to do is go ahead and paste the code in here that will allow us to add an image, all right? So I'm just going to go ahead and paste that in here. We've got the file path set up so far. The only difference is we need to actually name this, the actual name of it, all right? So this one says index table BG, all right? So all I need to do is just set this up to say index underscore table underscore BG, all right? So if I refresh it, You'll see that that shows up, and if we come back out here and I refresh this, okay, we've got that showing up in here, all right? Looking pretty good.